Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a moment before I begin the video to pay my respects to Sashin Littlefeather and to Sashin's family. I wanted to honor her memory by making this video. I had filmed this video on September 17th while I attended the Evening with Sashin Littlefeather event at the Academy Museum in which the Academy was going to issue their official apology to Sashin Littlefeather for her treatment at the Oscars in 1973. Um, since th from that moment, I guess you couldn't have anticipated what was gonna follow and transpire in the following days. And as many of you may know, we unfortunately lost Sashin on October 2nd, um, not too long after she received her apology. I just wanted to take a moment here to pay my respects to Sashin and dedicate this video to her and honor her memory in that way. I had filmed this video with hopes to share this moment with a lot of the people who watch my, my videos and share this experience with my family and I really hope that with the words you hear in this video with the event you gain some strength from it because that was her intention. And so, without further ado, here's my video. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you guys, especially in this format. I know I've been releasing a lot more official um, video content and things that are more aligned with, you know, the message of just using whatever little platform that I have to highlight other native artists, to give this opportunity for people to just share what they're doing, share their stories, share their perspectives. And uh, I've been meeting a lot with a lot of key Native American figures, uh, people of the Navajo community, um, and then other Native people too. So, but today we're gonna be doing something entirely different, something special, something exciting. Um, I'm actually going to an event. Uh, if you have heard and have been paying attention lately, um, the uh, Academy of Motion Pictures is issuing an official apology to Sashin Littlefeather. If you don't know who Sashin Littlefeather is, are you even native? Because <laughs> seriously, no. <laughs> so Sashin Littlefeather, if you don't know, is um, a Native American activist and actress. And uh, she's most notable for the declining of an Oscar on the behalf of Marlon Brando during the 1973 Oscar Awards. Um, that sparked a lot of controversy and she got a lot of backlash and a lot of hate and a lot of uh, negativity pointed in her direction that kind of stalled her career and you know really sad, it's sad you know the repercussions that came from that uh, the speech she gave there a very powerful speech talking about Native American people Native American rights as you know in 1973 that's a time when Native people were paying a lot more attention to their rights and were advocating for their people. And there were a lot of key issues and key movements that were taking place at the time. Um, and so she used her speech and her platform that was given to her by Marlon Brando to share these perspectives. And it wasn't entirely received well by audiences who were mostly white, let's be honest, and by actors and actresses who at the time were also mostly white. So we, it's, we've come a long way, it's been a long time, and the Academy is issuing an official apology to her today, and they're holding this event at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Um, it's gonna be really nice. It's at the David Geffen Theater, which is a really nice theater that they recently just built. The museum itself is pretty new, so it's gonna be a pretty awesome event. It's pretty exciting. Um, I, I decided to make a vlog just because um, not everybody can make it to this event. It was a sold out event. I should have mentioned that as well because that is freaking crazy and amazing. It should be fun. I am super stoked about this event. Sashi Littlefeather single-handedly was one of the people who influenced me and seeing her on that Oscar stage, although she wasn't a nominee, although she wasn't a, a, somebody who would be receiving an award or receiving an award, um, just seeing her on that stage made me believe that a native could be there at some point for the right reasons and so she has definitely inspired me and i'm super excited to hopefully maybe get a chance to meet her if i can we'll see if that we'll see if that happens 
I might have a little bit of a fanboy moment, but it's okay. Um, it should be really exciting. I'm excited. It's a sold out event and yeah, so I'll see you guys there and uh, come along with me. Yeah. I'm Ian. Men's traditional dancer, James Gregory, Osage, Oklahoma. And carrying our Eagle staff, grass dancer, Randy Pico, Jr., Navajo and the Seno, Pachanga. To all of you, to our foster youth, don't count us out. Oh, release my heart from grief and negligence. I guess I handle. <laughs> And that we will, in the future, our hearts and our understandings will meet with love and generosity. I am honored and humbled and overjoyed to introduce the Academy Museum stage, Sashin Little Feather. police over there. I will have you arrested, put in jail. And he said, you have 60 seconds or less to represent Marlon. An indigenous woman, a member of the Screen Actors Guild. Very few people of color are finding their way through an impractical society that deliberately set out to erase the existence and diversity of Native peoples. Through genocide, oppression, and the unwavering efforts for Indian self-determination, our generation re re remained hard at work. And we were not the only ones. In 1973, I fulfilled the request of a friend and ally. Marlon Brando asked that I attend the ceremony in his place and refuse the Oscar for Best Actor for the role in The Godfather. And so I did. I knew the impact and the importance of representing all Native people on that night. It was critical for the psyche of all our relations to bring awareness to and interrupt the negative interpretation 
and representation of Native American people by the film, television, and sports industries. Marlon and I knew it urgent to highlight the 1973 American Indian Movement AIM, Occupation of Wounded Knee, South Dakota. They were experiencing a media blackout. <coughs> Supposedly, Wounded Knee, South Dakota was a site where a U.S. missile base was going to be built. I, more than anyone, know the impact of what 60 seconds at the Academy Award can mean then and now, 50 years later. I have developed a strong sense of self, community, and a good sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is good medicine. I come from an ancestral matrilineal society where women are leaders, role models, and teachers of peace, love, harmony, humility, humanity, truth, conversation, and a coming together in our sacred circle of unity. Other may, others may choose to follow in our ways. I am here accepting this apology, not only for me alone, but as the acknowledgement, knowing that it was not only for me, but for all of our nations that also need to hear and deserve this apology tonight. Mm -hmm. Now I would like all the Indian people in this audience to stand. When I am gone, always be reminded that whenever you stand for your truth, you will be keeping my voice and the voices of our nations and our people alive. When I am gone, Always be reminded that whenever you stand for your truth, you will be keeping my voice and the voices of our nations and our people alive. I remain Snatching Little Feather. Thank you. These were the immortal words that Sashin said at the Academy Museum. And I really wanted to make this video after waiting some time because of the message it sent, the powerful scenes that took place at the Academy Museum, the symbolic meaning of this apology to Sashin on the behalf of all Native people. I sat in that audience, you know, glossy-eyed and in awe of what I saw. And I can guarantee you there was not a dry eye in that, that theater. We all felt the emotions, we all felt the weight of the sense of responsibility to live up to the expectations that Sashin had, to honor her memory and continue to put in the work and effort into supporting and increasing Native American representation in all areas not only the film industry, not only the music industry, but in every aspect of our society. That's the goal, that's the dream, that's the reality we aspire to have. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do think that Sashin has had a real impact in my life. And it gave me the strength I needed at a time 
most critical in my life. I didn't know her personally. I only spoke to her for a short while when I was able to meet her. Um, but in that moment, I had so much joy. <laughs> in that moment, I gained so much understanding and strength in myself. And I can only hope and dream that we Native people, all of us, can have similar experiences. And with that, I hope from this that you go forth and be that brilliant, amazing indigenous person that Sasheen wanted us to be. So with that said, I leave you with that and happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Watched him disappear like